Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to another recording of Gone Home. Let's continue. I don't even know if I really want to continue, though. <sighs> another creepy hallway I have to go down. There's a whole nother wing of this house we have not gotten to yet. I think they should have put the string a little bit higher on this, just because that is a rather long string, and it's not reacting to me running into it. In fact, I'm just phasing through it. And I, I kind of would have preferred if that wasn't the case. And then we have these red valves that are... Come on. I see a light bulb here. Where's the string? I guess there isn't a string for that light bulb. We can see the outline of light bulb right here, though. Hmm. There's like no light switch here. Really? There's nothing I could have done. Maybe that's a pipe. Okay, maybe that is just a pipe. Alright, we'll move forward instead of looking for a light. I was seeing there's some light here. We have no idea what room this is or what's going on. Seems like Sam is probably just taking free run of all of the, uh, well, Let's see. Woman Outlaws. Uh, it is a good fictional uh, old Tencent dime mag type uh, comic book, but not realistic at all. They would never make a woman the first, uh, the lead in a comic like that and show off her legs that much. Here we have wipers, yet another band. Also, I could have gotten all the buttons and stuck them on the cardboard. Well, can I pick up, like, a something else and stick it on the, there, or is it just buttons? I can throw a thing right through it. What does this say? Girl Justice Now. Captain Revelation. This one's for you, Grossman. Captain A Revolution Girl. Kicking assistant against the patriarchy. Heard enough. Had enough. Let's see. The Great Good Fellow Riot of 95. Heavens to Betsy. Girls to the front. Hmm. I don't like how the their green pushpins at the bottom and red at the top. I just think that's weird. Hmm. What is this? It's a zine. Girl Justice Now. Our music. Oh, so they, they were making their own, like, magazine type thing in the basement. That's pretty old school. More chips. Just gonna have bugs everywhere. Sonic Youth. Damps Bikini Kill Sunday, November 5th. Let's see. Girl Justice Now. Pizza Box. Empty Letter. Good Fellows Senior High School. Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort to put into your writing your letter. It showed us in intuitive and was 
well written, but it does not change my mind in the matter. While I understand that Miss Tessoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other students have been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to the, who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began the whole incident in the first place. Alright, so it seems like the school found out. I don't get mommy sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Hmm. So creepy. So we found another song, and there's like socks. It's heavens to Betsy, terrorists. More of this music. Let's just listen to it. The headbang. Sorry if you get motion sick for this. Headbanging. Is it done? Good. So, weirdness here. Assuming that the red pipes, which I don't think usually you would have red pipes, colored pipes, but assuming that they are the hot liquid for the radiators getting pumped, why does it connect to the white the sewer drain pipes? That's exactly what these are. And speaking of connection, that is totally not connected. <laughs> so there's some small bugs here. So here's a 
something we could read that's a lie to a mom and dad situation but it was so worth it the girl on stage was just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sand so I can't even when I'm listening to music pick anything up because you never know when it's just gonna activate a journal thing the psycho house girl the cool stuff about being the psycho house girl cool thing number one everybody in the hall thinks you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral uh, vision I suppose costumes skeletons and devils cheerleaders from the smells like tin spirit video one girl dressed as Kennedy as Jackie Kennedy but I can't like spin these over if, if they're writing anything else on the scraps seems like uh, so where do I want to go on this map right now we are in a room and where are we down the floor we're upstairs where are we? I have no idea what room we're in. Okay, that's a secret panel to something. And that's creepy. Why does this house have secret panels? And... This full handle. Where is this? What room are we in? The guest room way on the top floor. So that swung the whole briefcase. So we've got one more section through this secret panel that's going to, I assume, take us to the right side of the uh, of the house, and we're going to find, we don't need any combinations or anything, we just need the key to the attic. This is creepy. Alright. We're in the hallway. What hallway are we in? Yes. So we have made this door unlocked. Finally. And I'm glad for that, but it's still super, super creepy, this house. Let's see. A Spanish textbook. A pencil to stab any ghosts. How, how is this thing even working? There's no wiring here. There's the magic of this world right there. Is the electricity doesn't require anything. So we got a froth musical and literature thing. A magazine. Plug on the frame of the windowsill, which isn't good wiring. You don't want plugs actually facing upward anyways. It's too easy to spill water into them and short them out. Uh, that's an old style of wiring that doesn't get done very often these days. This very ugly couch that has like no purpose whatsoever in this. this what does this say? Guardian angels up above bless this house with lots of love. 
By all means, please bless this creepy house. Bless it as much as you can. Let's read this letter. Offer a promotion to Bruce Pendleton, dear head conser conservationist Greenbrier. Due to your em exemplary management of the flintlock prescribed burn operation last year, the services need for an experienced personnel to direct regional operations would like to offer you the position of regional conversation management director responsible for operations throughout the northwest Oregon. Your assistance would be sought to fill your previous position on site at Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting will be at the regional management building located at 128 Bullhorn Road road which should be much more convenient for your daily commute please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision we very much look forward to your reply Bruce Pendleton okay so if the mother quit flickering quit it if the mother is having an affair with the one of the rangers in that location she wouldn't take the promotion but everything else says she would if she isn't because it would be a shorter commute it would be a promotion why wouldn't you take it let's see what this note is hey Lonnie sorry for my mom was such a bitch last night she hardly ever around since the forest is like an hour away and then when she is home she takes it out on you like because you're not a member of the family she knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry haha ha, it's okay I know she's just jealous of our cool and free willing lifestyles I'm sorry for you I'm very I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida you have to you have a mom you have to have a mom every day so I didn't mean up to bring up the mom thing like that I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No. <laughs> That's a big no. As a giant no. So people often join the military to get away from things, family trouble. I'm not sure that's exactly the case with Lonnie. I think Lonnie just had a dream and wanted to do it, and so she did it. Here. What's this stuff? Let's see, 1019 Kink FM presents Earth, Wind, Fire, Keller Auditorium. $25 adult, section B, 14, no cameras. Hmm. So, that was in February, somebody went and saw Earth, Wind, and Fire. I don't think that would have been Sam. creepy sound. What's this note? Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I ever f I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks. Uh, uh, American. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. Thou shalt treasure it always. Okay. So that says a lot. Why was the skull left? If we are believing that, if we really feel that this was, Sam was robbing things to run away, then why is the skull left here? It was prominent. Why wouldn't she have grabbed it? 
unless she actually broke up with or and or killed Lonnie and didn't want the reminder. Why would she steal all of those things? This is super creepy. Turn those lights on. Mom's purse. So we found Mom's purse and didn't we find uh, Sam's purse or did we find two of Mom's purses? Let's see, manually for forestry research and education. Take care of our forests. That's pretty old. And then what's this note? Hi Jan, I got two tickets to EWF, Earth, Wind and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket and I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rick. So, still not cheating, really, if they go to Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> so it's still not just a confirmation of cheating. A little pantry. Hmm. Looks like there might be something behind this pantry. Way. Let's see. And then we have another one of these pamphlets. And then we've got a kitchen table, just a mess. Another one of the postcards I sent. Hmm. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all the art including the Sistine Chapel ceiling sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mom will have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important del dead people. You should come, too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull, probably. Love, Katie. Man, I was having the time of my life, and while I was having the time of my life, it looks like Sam has had quite an adventure, too, and then it's all going to be just right up to the solution, and where is everybody? This is midnight, and you'd think somebody would be somewhere. Uh, well, wouldn't it be weird if something happened? Like Sam uh, fell down the stairs or some in accident that happened and they just all drew, had to drive to the hospital and they're all going to show up as soon as I'm done making a huge mess of this place. I don't know got some more stuff to examine and we will examine it next time we've got the dining room and just a few more rooms and then I don't know I don't know if we're gonna get this done in the next couple of recordings or not we are still going this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would anywho that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name righto. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.